I say right now we turn towards the Middle East. Yemen evolves into chaos. Saudi tanks on their way to the border. Iran deploying its warships to the Gulf of Aden. A much larger proxy war between Shiites and Sunnis. Yemen has long been home to al-Qaeda. The Houthi rebels have taken over Sana. The U.S. also stepping up airstrikes on ISIS. It's getting very, very complicated. Well, to be fair, he's easily confused. But... <laughs> In this case, it's true. Uh, uh, there's so many proxy wars going on in the Middle East, it almost appears at times that we are fighting ourselves. Uh, to help us understand the various angles of Operation Sandy Quagmire, we're joined by senior Middle East correspondent Bassem Youssef. Bassem, thank you for being here, my friend. Nice to see you. Great to see you, Bassem. Yeah, yeah, nice yeah. Nice to see you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, John, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I got to tell you, you seem less than excited uh, uh, to be here. Last time it seemed like you were excited to be here. What's, what's up, Awesome? Yeah, Talk nothing. Although I see that while I was away, you picked some other guy to replace you. Trevor Noah, that's right. He's going he's gonna to replace me on the program when I leave. That's good. It's... So you wanted a handsome young comedian from Africa? Hello? <laughs> yeah? Yeah? yeah. What, what, John? Egypt is not African enough for you? Oh, yeah, Egypt is in Africa. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. So, John, can you imagine what a beautiful Rolling Stone cover I would have had? <laughs> who, who was holding your chest there? There was someone holding my chest? Yes, I think so. Well, well anyways, you had some questions about the Middle East. Yes. Yep. Yeah, so, as we say where I come from, shoot. So here's the deal. Here's what I understand. We're, we're fighting uh, ISIS and al-Qaeda. We're trying to keep nukes away from Iran, but now we're somehow involved in a proxy war in Yemen on the side of Iran, but not again. I, here's my question. Who should we worry about? Who's actually coming to kill us? None of them. Get the f What? Yeah. <laughs> Say that again. Wait, wait, wait. Let me explain. Okay, I'll start with my country, Egypt. You know it's in Africa. Very good, John. You're learning. Okay, so remember the Muslim Brotherhood? Yes, yes. Uh, guns, beards, uh, Sunni, briefly in charge of uh, Egypt. Yes, until the military threw them out with backing from the Saudis. Well, now the Saudis and the Egyptian army are fighting Shia rebels together in Yemen. And guess who's fighting alongside them? Yes, yes, uh, it's uh, Chuck Norris. Yes. <laughs> Close. The Muslim Brotherhood in Yemen. <laughs> The Muslim Brotherhood in Yemen are allies with the guys who threw them out of Egypt. They're buddies now. Of course not. They just, like, hate the f*** out of each other. It's All right. They just happen to be pointing their guns at the same people right now. And guess who else is rooting for Team Saudi? Chuck Norris's brother. <laughs> Close. ISIS and Al-Qaeda. Those assholes are so happy that Shia are getting killed in Yemen, they're popping their halal champagne. But that... So that's what this is, though. So the way to figure this out yeah. is it's the Sunni-Shia split. Sunnis always going to have a Sunni brother's back. Yes. Yes. Except in Iraq. God! <laughs> Where the Sunni coalition is fighting alongside the Shia militias against ISIS. This is not... Is this some kind of new psychological terrorism where they try to confuse us to death? All right. All right. Let me put this in terms you can understand. You know March Madness? Of course I know March Madness. Good. Consider this constant intractable madness. <laughs> Look okay. how many teams have to play against each other. And this is just one division. We're not even to the Elite Eight yet. And America's already in the finals. We're in the finals? Yes! USA! Wait, 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 wait. Wow. This so... Really? Like, warmongers? Talking about getting us in a war. <laughs> <laughs> is it really that easy? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, whoever makes it out of the round of 64, Sunni, Shia, monarchy, democracy, insurgency, tribal, military, theocracy, whatever team, advances to the final round... Gets to go head-to-head -head with the great Satan. That's you. <laughs> We know. Yes. <laughs> so who's your money on to win the whole? The same people who always win. The guys who run the game. NCAA. The NCAA. No, the MCAM. Military contractors and arms manufacturers. <laughs> yeah, I see. Yeah. They make money off every team in the bracket. As long as there is madness and marching, they win.